All right, so I've been cautiously excited actually about unboxing this. I've had this thing for like about a week. And um, let's go ahead and get into this right after this intro. All right, so it's actually been a while since I've actually unboxed the Motorola device. I got my star on YouTube actually unboxing the Moto Z Play. Uh, since then, they've had some decent devices. I feel that Motorola kind of mastered the mid-range to budget devices. They kind of fell off in the, in the flagship and I kind of just fell off with them a little bit, but I've been cautiously excited about this device for one reason. And just, you know, that, that software experience, I wanna, I wanna see, how good it is on this device. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So you guys know I'm terrible at just finding my unbox tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I gotta cut through this thing. So, uh, come on, let me get this, the sharpest key that I have. I messed up my Samsung box unboxing that thing with my keys, but I try to preserve these boxes the best I can, but you can only do what you can do. All right, so I got that side. So they only tape one side. So let's see, let's go. Let's go. Get this out the way. All right, so, ooh, that new box smell. Smells like ready for. Eat your heart out, Flossie. <laughs> Anyways, um, just looking at this. Oh, okay. So we got this nice new uh, white color. So this is a starlight white. And um, yeah, it feels okay. Like when I, when I held this thing in the store, it really felt cheap. But this actually feels like a decent weight now that I actually have it on in hand. Because I went to Best Buy check this thing out and um i know a lot of y'all like this cellophane peeling so let's do this one time for the one time hold this up to the mic okay all right and we are greeted with the thanks show from a and a hello moto. All right. Nice. All right. So uh, let's see, connect the mobile network. Let's, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on hold for just a second and let's look at what else is in this box. So we do get a charger, which is <laughs> a rare commodity now. So we get the 30 watt charger and you get a Oh, actually a USB type C to type C cable. So um, that's real interesting. And uh, let's go ahead and skip the mobile network stuff right now. Um, I'll just go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi. Do, do, do. All right, and Authenticating, authentication problem. Ah, fat fingered it. And uh, it still overall does feel lighter than probably your Samsung or your Google Pixel device. Let me go ahead and grab that right now. Yeah, it's, it's definitely noticeably lighter uh, than the Google Pixel. What the heck? All right, so I'm finally connected to the internet, except let's go ahead and move on through these. But yeah, this is a pretty nice screen. It's actually a little bit shorter in the profile than the uh, Pixel 6 Pro. 
I mean, it's just a little, little shorter. The Pixel 6 Pro is just a little taller, but the Pixel 6 Pro is also a little skinnier. Let me go ahead and take the Pixel 6 Pro out of the case so that we can actually do a size comparison real quick. That's a bunch of junk and stuff on the desk. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way so that you can get a good look at this device. So, so looking at it here, yeah, actually it's, it's pretty close. I ain't going to lie. Um, when you look at them together, they're really pretty close in height. The uh, Pixel just edges a little bit over <laughs> the Motorola oh. Edge. Well, <laughs> how about that for a pun? But um, so right now we're just work, working on getting this phone ready. And um, yeah, so I've had this Pixel for well, since launch, I know I haven't really said much about it. I do have a review coming up on that. And um, I'll let you know my thoughts on that. So stay tuned. So uh, right now we're still waiting on this phone to get ready. So considering I'm connected to my 5G, this shouldn't take too long. Uh, come on. Maybe I should have skipped this process and just went through <laughs> just to get to the phone. But in the hand right now, I mean, just looking at this color, man, it, it actually looks pretty good. I think I, I made a good decision going with the Starlight White. Uh, this whole plastic, it does, it is glass. It's supposed to be Gorilla Glass 5 on the back, Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. And so now we're about to copy stuff. I'm going to say don't copy my apps and data. But um, it, is, it is a pretty nice screen, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, even though it is only 1080p, it is, uh, it is an AMOLED display. So I'm going to just go ahead and log into this thing for the first time. All right. Let's go ahead and log in with my Gmail joint. And... Uh, Yes, I'm in. Let's just go ahead and get through this. I agree. Getting account info, Google services, more, more, accept. And let's go ahead and set up a pin. And set up another pin. Confirm. And unlock with my fingerprint. Find the sensor. Oh, okay. So your yeah, fingerprint sensor is actually on the, yeah, that's pretty high up there. Uh, I might end up turning my screen off accidentally, but then again, you're trying to wake your screen. So this is pretty, it's pretty high up there. I'm going to turn off my screen. Just trying to, I'm going to have to get used to having this on the side again. All right. All right, so that's set up. Touch to unlock, let's just leave that on. We'll skip that for now, we'll go to another one. Continue, set up, um, let's skip this Google for right now. Uh, let's skip, and the YouTube app. Next, add another account. Let's just hit no thanks. Let's, I just wanna go ahead and get into this phone so we can look at it. Um, but okay, so at least on the outside while this is setting it up, um, it looks like we do have SIM slot at the bottom, at the USB-C at the bottom as well. You have one speaker, I'm gonna assume the mic and the speaker are down there. Um, you have the volume rocker and fingerprint sensor on this side, and you have a mic at the top and nothing on the other side. So. You have this whole, I think the whole reason why this phone is so light is because you have, uh, you pretty much have a plastic frame around it, uh, as opposed to, you know, other phones like, you know, Samsung and now Google that has, have these metal frames, these aluminum frames. So that's kind of where we're at. I don't feel that Motorola should justify their price by having a plastic frame, but 
you know, that's the way that they want to do things. You want to, you want to compete with the big boys and you put your, you, <laughs> you want to compete with the big boys, but you're giving, you're not giving us big boy specs, you know, I mean, they are giving us big boy specs, but they're not giving us features like, <laughs> come on, give us an aluminum frame, but, um, still waiting for this phone to get ready. This may take a few minutes, as they said, right? I skipped all this stuff so I can just go straight to the screen. But I do like the way this thing looks, though. I'm not, I'm not mad at it at all. It has like a certain color when you look at it at a certain angle. So, oh yeah, I also mentioned they do have a... They do have a, another speaker at the top, so you'd have dual speakers. But other than that, as far as spec wise, um, it is rocking the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Uh, this model has 512, it's got, yeah, 512 gigs of storage inside of it. It was the only model, <laughs> it's the only option that even give you a 256. So I guess for the United States, they just decided to go ahead and give you 512. Um, this has eight gigs of RAM. They do have a variant that has 12, but not in the US, I believe, at least not on their site. So, um, and then you've got two cameras over here and then you got a depth sensor. So you've got a ultra wide angle camera and then a, a, a wide angle. So no telephoto on this thing. And we are still waiting for this phone to get ready. <laughs> All right, so how about we do this? Uh, while this phone is taking forever to get ready, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this project on hold. I will be back when I've actually had some time to look further into this phone and walk through it. And I'll probably give you guys a tour or some of my thoughts. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do a 24 hour roundup or whatever, um, but it'll all be in this video. So stay tuned, we'll be back. All right, through the magic of editing, we are now flash forward to about 72 hours later. Uh, unboxed this thing over the weekend and now it's like Wednesday. So, um, <laughs> so honestly, um, obviously I got a, some likes and dislikes with this phone. Um, I don't know where I should start. All right, I guess I will say this. After using this device, I actually like it more now than my first initial impression because uh once you get over this build quality like most of my gripes deal with the build quality and even this motorola case that came with it too um hmm <laughs> all right so let's let's go ahead and start off with the things that i really don't like about it then i'll get into the things that i do like about it kind of flossy style right so um Let's see, all right, so the build quality, like what do I not like about the build quality? Uh, for one, you know, you do have this Gorilla Glass 5 on the back, but uh, supposedly it, it kind of feels like plastic to me. It feels like plastic in a way. Um, then you do have the plastic bezel or the, or the plastic trim around the sides. Uh, I really don't like that. It, it definitely gives it a, like a mid-range to budget feel to me, as I said in the unboxing. Uh, at first, I was thinking, um, I've gone back and forth with the display on this thing too. Um, honestly, I do like the display and I'll tell you why. But uh, the, and then another thing I was thinking I didn't like was the sound, but there's a, there's a fix for that too. So. Um, overall, like I said, my, my major pick, my major hiccups of this was the build quality. Uh, there is also another, another thing I don't like is the camera. I could probably go ahead and show you one thing with the camera itself too. So like once you go into the menu settings, uh, let's go ahead and flip this camera around and then you can check, you know, the rest of the options. Well, yeah, another thing I like, they don't have any 4k front facing shooters for video. Um, hmm, <laughs> you would think, I know, you know, you could, you could say that the pixel, the pixel six, the baseline one 
doesn't have 4k as well so that you know should justify this one but nah this thing is 900 bucks it should have 4k and uh let's go ahead and take a look here at some of the settings so like when you go to the actual camera settings and you go to videos and if you want to turn on hdr10 i mean it's cool that it has hdr10 if you want to turn on hdr10 you must also have the high efficiency video codec or whatever enabled. So you turn off the high efficiency video codec, you also disable HDR10 by default. I don't like that. Um, I'd rather shoot my videos. I don't, I don't wanna compress my footage with the expense of losing uh, HDR. It, it, it doesn't sit well with me. I, I don't like that, um, but <clears throat> With all those dislikes in mind, I actually, like I said, I, I do enjoy using this device. I, I actually do. Um, it's become more, a more enjoyable experience over the days after looking through the settings of the phone and actually finding out there are things that I can tweak and make the experience better. Um, at first I was thinking that the, uh, the screen, cause I've got dark mode enabled. And this screen doesn't look dark. I'll probably have some B-roll footage of this next to a uh, Samsung Galaxy device. And I'll show you that this screen isn't like really blacked out. It's like a dark gray. And I thought maybe they cheaped out on the AMOLED display. But as I watch other you know, content, if I'm consuming Netflix, YouTube, whatever, uh, gaming, all the blacks really look accurate. Like you can see deep black. So this is actually a really good AMOLED display. They just, whatever reason for their settings menu, that's the color palette or color profile that they chose to go with. A uh, little dingy gray kind of look. So, but um, <laughs> other than that, like I said, it's a good device. Um, when I was talking about the sound earlier, I was saying that the sound was really, really flat when I first started using this device. And I noticed that once you go into the settings menu, you go into the sounds and vibration, they do have a Dolby Atmos feature. So you can go there and change the profile. So they have different profiles that you can that you can edit. So I've got mine set on music for right now. It was by default set on smart audio and smart audio was pretty flat. So I just went ahead and changed it to music and then I went to music and changed the, uh, I changed the equalizer to a bass boost. And that seemed to even out everything. So. I have no qualms with the sound at all now. Um, gaming, I, like I said, I haven't really done a lot of gaming, done some BeatStar, I've done a little bit of Hitman Go on this. Um, I really can't speak on the gaming, so, it, but it hasn't, the phone hasn't really gotten hot, so that's a good thing. Uh, no performance issues other than the Android 12 stuff. Um, and for me, with Android 12, and this is an issue that both plagues this device and the uh, the Note. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it the Note. It's the S22 Ultra. It is basically the Note. But the S22 Ultra and this have one common problem. Like when I'm on Marco Polo and I've got Bluetooth earbuds in, like the audio tends to skip from time to time. So. Um, that's just what a third party app problem that Android 12 is just going to have to sort out. Um, other than that, man, this, this is a, it's a, it's a pretty solid device. I'm not going to lie. The, the, the front facing camera is disappointing though. Uh, I've taken a few selfies. Um, they, I thought, I'll be honest with you. I thought the pictures were going to come out worse than what they were. Um, when you're looking at the picture in the viewfinder, it's like really noisy, kind of like the pixel does a little bit. Like he's got a whole bunch of noise. The picture looks overexposed, but when you come out, it's actually, when you take the picture, it's actually a usable picture. Um, it, um, they, like I said, the camera could be better. The front facing camera. I haven't taken any pictures with the rear yet, but supposedly the rear should be straight from what I've heard from other reviewers, but uh more on that later i did actually get to use uh the ready four and i will have a video of that comparing that with dex so um i'm gonna put together my thoughts and a whole comprehensive setup but overall like i said this device so far uh i'm liking it I'm, I'm giving it a thumbs up so far so i really once you get past the build quality it's a very usable device i mean the build quality feels like a mid-range device but it's got a, this nice big display 
<laughs> so it's really nice for viewing content and for gaming and things like that so um yeah and then let me talk about this case this case is trash <laughs> this and this is a, a, like i said an official case from motorola so because of their their decision to go with the fingerprint sensor and that's another problem i, I don't agree with um they they literally have their fingerprint sensor on the side and so you have this open area that anytime now you buy a case the manufacturer now has to design a section that's open for you to be able to press the fingerprint sensor um and the decision with them i don't know if you'd be able to see this but like this lip is just ridiculous it's a sharp lip all over all around this phone it's a sharp lip it's like you almost kind of like can like cut yourself this is not like comfortable to hold like they could have done way better than this i mean the material i guess the material is okay you know what i'm saying the material uh you do kind of get scuffs on it every now and then if you have something in your pocket kind of be careful but um and then you just have this little cut out here at the bottom uh <laughs> i understand you have the sim slot in the, the area where it's covered but it's just it's weird looking it's just not symmetrical the edges are sharp um it doesn't add a lot of bulk which is good and then when you look at the little camera area you have this little you won't be able to see it but there is like a little gap around the camera modules it is I, I, it's not my favorite case let me put it that way uh motorola could have done way better but with that i am done with this video i'm about to get up out of here it's about time for me to get ready for work so Hopefully, I'll be able to get this thing edited and probably at least released, published by Friday since it's Wednesday here. So, but um, once again, just stay, stay tuned to the channel. I will have more coverage on this Motorola device and um, feel free to drop me a comment or any questions, anything you want to see. And I'll holler at you guys on the next video. Peace.